What's going on everyone? Today we are at Universal again and we're going to be exploring a little bit of Harry Potter and uh, maybe just a little bit more of what this side has to offer because it's Universal and we haven't really done that. Alright, so we finally made it into Diagon Alley and well we're gonna do some shopping first because see we were gonna go do something else earlier today like we were gonna go to Hollywood Studios and Taylor did her makeup to match a shirt that she was gonna wear and then it didn't make sense because we decided to come here instead so her, Josh decided to come here instead so her outfit uh, doesn't look or match at all so we're gonna actually go do some shopping and show you what you can find somewhere around here I'm not really sure I've never been here before so the shop in here just has about everything and anything you could want that's themed with clothes. They've got uh, lots of shirts, they've got some bags. I think they might even have robes. They do have robes. I can now show my face on camera <laughs> because I now match. I even have this little headband. I actually didn't buy this here. I got this on Zulily actually. And then my Gryffindor shirt that I just got today. It's nice and bedazzled and cute. Now we can carry on with it. So one thing that's really nice about Diagon Alley is that they have about 12 shops. It's a little tough to tell because uh, a lot of them are connected on the inside, but most of them have their own individual doorways into the shop, which is really cool. But what's really nice is that there's enough shopping here that it kind of helps to, uh, you know, pull the crowds apart, break them up so that it's not you're so compacted into one place. Now, one place that you will almost always be uh, really packed in tightly is Ollivander's, just because it's the place to get the wands. So this is an example of how they kind of put three stores together. However, I do think it's actually a really good idea that they do this because the entrances and exits to these stores are very small. It's just like one single door instead of a big opening. And the stores are kind of compacted. Now, it's good because it's like kind of fits the theme of Diagon Alley. But if everybody was trying to come in and out of one door, that would be really difficult. So I think having the three shops like this together kind of helps people use more than one entrance and one exit for all three shops. But this one is my favorite, Weasley's. Oh, I love everything in here, it's so cool. <gasps> Isn't this the cutest little thing? Wait, hold on. If you squeeze it, it like purrs, basically. <laughs> But anyway, this is from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Luna Lovegood wears one of these pygmy puffs on her shoulder. She doesn't really wear it, it sits there. Cause it's like her little pet. But anyway, I have some Luna Lovegood merchandise coming that I cannot wait to wear. And when we wear it, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna get one of these, probably this pink one here, because they will do a whole naming ceremony for this, so. I can't just buy it and then wear it with my outfit. It's gotta be like a whole shebang. So that's what we're gonna do. So if you guys have been watching us for a while, one thing that I really like to collect are postcards and postcards from all over the place. Now granted, we're here in Central Florida in Orlando, but one thing that's really cool is that no matter where you're visiting from, you can actually get a postcard that is sent by Owl Posts. 
and uh, they'll stamp it right here and oh, send it out. So that's what I'm gonna do today because uh, I don't have one yet and I think that that's really cool. I'm gonna mail it to myself. Can you see me? Can everybody see me? Can you all hear me? All right, so I've got my stamps and my postcards now. Might be a little bit on the expensive side, but uh, for the... Okay, so for the stamps, um, you get a 10 stamps and they're $14.95, and then the postcards are $12.95, and I think you get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 postcards. So 10 postcards, 10 stamps, makes sense why they send, they sell them together like that, but in total is about $30. If you have an AP, you get a discount, so uh, we had a discount of about $2. So can, comes out to like 27 bucks. Another thing too is that if you have an American Express card, uh, you can get a discount here just like Disney does Chase discounts. Uh, you get American Express discount. Oh boy, here we go. Opening up the pack. Oh, look at these. These things are huge. These will definitely not fit in my book. Oh, look at that. It's a pygmy thing. Pygmy puff. Pygmy puff. I'm gonna send this one to myself. It's our PO box. So if anybody out there would like to send us a postcard, feel free to. It's about to get dark and creepy because we are going to Morgan and Burke down Nocturne Alley. bird in there. So it was really cool getting to explore some of what Diagon Alley has to offer here. And I think what's probably the coolest thing is that uh, you can send a postcard home and get like the little owl stamp on it. I don't know, maybe I'll be on the lookout and see if an owl is flying by and drops my postcard off at the post office. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. There's a lot more still to explore, and I think we'll do end up doing that in another video or maybe make some type of something. I'm not sure, but this is definitely the place to be. It always is, and um, it's pretty cool. So let us know down in the comments below, what is something that you would like to explore here in Diagon Alley? I think I really like the wizard shop, and I don't know. That's a really cool place.